Good matchup in Philadelphia as well where Taiwan Walker's getting ready to host Lucas Giolito in the Angels. First of a three game series there. There's Logan O'Hoppy who about a year ago was Philly's property. In fact the Phillies made him a 23rd round draft choice a number of years back. He played his way into prospect status and then at the break last year he was swapped for Brandon Marsh who we welcome you back into MLB tonight with Carlos Pena Chris Young Matt Vasquez and that might go down as one of the best win win trades in recent history. Marsh has been great in Philadelphia. A hobby is very much the catcher of the future in Anaheim. Let's give you a little history lesson on how this thing went down and why both of these guys are such top prospect players. Uh, you know in Georgia when this guy was growing up Brandon Marsh he was a football guy multi sport athlete probably could have played any game he wanted to. The Angels decided to draft him in the second round. Yeah, there's yeah, that's right. There was draft day and there is Brandon Marsh from Buford High School played with Joey Bart there. Uh, he graded out as a big time prospect got as high as into the top 50 said no to Kennesaw State in his home state went to Anaheim grew the beard became a thing. <laughs> they traded him to Philadelphia and he has found his spot an elite defensive player had a big postseason home run against Charlie Morton in last year's National League Division Series and it looks like Brandon Marsh is going to be the center fielder in Philadelphia for a long long time. We're having some freeze problems but here we go. This is game four of the division series two runners on and the Phillies would roll all the way through. They love him there. Captain Caveman. How about the guy the Angels got in that trade Logan O'Hoppy. Well we know that he raked in the minor leagues. He checks every box in terms of what they're supposed to look like according to our old friend John Hart. Big guy sets a great target very athletic the way he moves behind the plate. In fact let's go through the checklist pitch framing ability. Got it. Game calling understands how to sequence at bats. Got it. Technique is perfect. He's a great student and has learned height and weight all the eyeball stuff. It's there and he has that combination to be able to hit for power and average. And the reason the Phillies didn't really need catching depth is because JT Romuto is going to be there until the end of time making huge money and why not. He's one of the elite catchers in the sport. So it turns into Ohapi going to Anaheim and filling a real void the Angels had at catcher. The net net the return. Ohapi's a great fit with the Angels. Marsh is a great fit with the Phillies. And that kind of spells a win win for both teams. It's rare that trades like this can benefit both and you don't have fans saying oh we got one over on you that time. These guys were great in both of their new cities. They were great and and this is where it's a situation and you explained it perfectly where every team understood that they had it. They had a need that they needed to fill. The Angels are looking forward into next season. They say OK I think we have a lot of outfield depth. We have Ward. We have um, Adele who we're planning on being the guy for us moving forward so we can part ways with Marsh right now where we're lacking a little bit is at the catching position. We need a little more pr from production from our catching position. If we can get this young player and he become the guy that we see in the minor leagues, it could be a win for us. That's how they're looking at it. And the Phillies are saying, well, we got Maria Muto back here. We're fine. We don't need to. Why would we waste this kid's talent in a backup role? Let's go ahead and get somebody for him. And now you have your starting center fielder in the World Series. Yeah, if only it was that easy. It's, it was almost like a fantasy <laughs> league deal. Right? Not, right? It worked right? out perfectly for both sides. Yeah, it's all about like what what is it that you need? For example, looking at the Philadelphia, they really need a defense out there in, in, in the Field and they were able uh, to attain that with Marsh and by the way swinging the bat as well offense. Now let's go to a hobby because one of the things that I love about him is how he stays through the zone. We were looking at Mookie Betts staying through the zone with the top hand. That swing is going to play in the major leagues by the way he absolutely raked in the minors. I mean it, he was a dominant offensive player but then on top of that you get a catcher that's going to get the best out of your pitchers which is key if you're going to be successful in the big leagues your organization needs to pitch. The catcher buying the play has a lot to do with it. And I guess the litmus test there is I mean everybody was still calling for Ohapi at the deadline right. this year. Mm. Right. Everybody understands it's 
catchers who can hit are hard to come yep. by yeah. and who can actually go out there and catch a great game, not be one or the other, be the complete package. And that's how. That's the only way you're getting a big leaguer for this minor league player is the fact that you're getting a quality catcher and you're not trading him anywhere. We're going to hold on to him as long as we can. I love that for the Angels. Yeah. Angels and Phillies uh, matching up head-to-head -head first of a three-game series tonight, a year plus after the trade. No hoppies playing against the Phillies. Marsh against the Angels.